what is going on everyone zero Hayes here and today i'm going to be showing you how to use the multi-track feature that uh streamlabs offers and i uh, i kind of want to show this because i see i've seen a lot of uh, videos or youtubers tutorials to be specific in which they're showing you how to use it when recording your gameplay and your voice at the same time and usually show you uh how to record it on a separate software while you are uh, using uh, Streamlabs or the Elgato software to record your gameplay, which just really adds another step to the whole process. But before we continue, make sure you like this video, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more content in regards to making videos and just upping the quality. Upping is that really a term of your content? Now let's say you want to record your gameplay and your voice at the same time as like a commentary walkthrough or playthrough, whatever you want to call it. So the most famous or well-known way in which a lot of YouTubers approach this is one, they record their voice on a second software. In this case, let's use Audacity for example. Two, once it's recorded, they clean up the audio on that same software. Three, once they're done cleaning the clip, they export it. Or once the clip is exported, they import it into their editing software, which could be Sony Vega or Final Cut Pro or whatever you use. Five, matching that recording, your voice, uh, with the gameplay if you didn't start the recording at the same time. And six, adjusting the volume. That's six extra steps. That's just way too much. Using the multi-track and Streamlabs will cut this in half, I promise you. So here's how to do it. So you go to Streamlabs, right? And you want to go to, let's see, settings. And uh, once you're in settings, you want to go to output. So in output, come on, there you go. You go to recording and right here, you have to concentrate on this area right here. So you see it where it says audio track. So right here is where you're going to choose how many, you know, channels or tracks you're going to be using. So for example, in this example, we're going to be only using two. But you can have like the one for uh, the game, the gameplay, two, your voice, three, uh, let's say you want Spotify or whatever, or whatever other stuff you want in the background. All right, so you have that ready. Cool. So then you want to go to advanced audio settings. So here's where you choose where you want each of the sources uh, recorded to or streamed to. So, for example, like I said, I have my gameplay here coming from the Elgato. Uh, channel one and then I have my mic I mean through channel two and once you have all of this set up and you record your game and your voice what that's gonna do is that once you are done recording in Streamlabs and drop your video into your editing software it's gonna create separate tracks so it's gonna create one uh, for uh, the uh, gameplay and in this example for my mic in which you're gonna be able to edit and uh you know tweak the volume or effects of your video here is a brief demonstration of me doing so so as you can see in this gameplay of apex i can control the volume of the gameplay like this and i can also control the volume of my voice like this uh, cool demonstration huh so yeah guys so this is one of the best ways to put the multi-track feature from Steam Labs to good use. If you'd like to see more uh, videos on tips and tricks on how to up your game when it comes to creating content, make sure you smash that like button. Just you know, drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. A's out. I said I'm moving too far.